Mark Graham with Energy Pipe and Supply. Today we're going to talk about the origin of pipe sizing. So when we're talking about pipe sizing, it's similar to if you go to your local hardware store and you're buying a 2x4. There's nothing 2x4 about it. And it's similar to uh, pipe sizing, specifically like half inch through 4 inch on a nominal pipe size. Now we're going to talk about how that came about. We're going to look back to 1862. There was a gentleman named Robert Briggs. Robert Briggs worked at a pipe mill called Pascal Ironworks in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He came up with the standard sizes for half inch through four inch, specifically to get to the ID. You go out there and measure the size of pipe and you look at three inch pipe, the outside diameter from one side to the other side is going to be three and a half inches. But they were looking for that ID to be three inch. So when you're trying to put together your sizing for pipe, you can look at a general pipe chart and it's going to show you on the OD. It'll also give you an ID and the wall thickness. So let's break down what you're looking at when you're looking at a pipe chart. So when I look there and I go, okay, so three inch pipe, and then the next column is going to show me the, exactly the outside diameter, which is also OD that's on the pipe chart. It'll also give you the wall. So for a standard wall or schedule 40 S it's going to give you that wall thickness. And then it'll also underneath there, give you the ID of that pipe, which means the inside diameter of that pipe. If weight is an issue, it will give you the weight per foot of the pipe. So for instance, three inch pipe is going to weigh 7.5 pounds per foot. Thank you for visiting us on YouTube and learn a little bit more about the origin of pipe sizing. Please visit us at energypipe.com.